My name's Josie and we're here on the River Kwai in Kanchanaburi, Thailand. And what better way to start the day than this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> it's not like I'm actually scared. <laughs> Why don't you just do the easy one? I'm so, I'm so scared. I'm nervous. And what better way to start the day than this? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, we've got to get to Josie. Hopefully she hasn't gone under the... under this place. Because <laughs> it's all on stilts. I can hear her screaming. I hope she's okay. <laughs> she's so much further ahead than me, though. It's actually kind of relaxing. No, I'm still scared. Oh, there's something in front of me. Um, um, um. Oh. <laughs> there's a big branch in front of me. <laughs> I'm trying to slow down so I don't hit it. Oh, I'm scared. Oh. Oh, there she is. Let's catch her. <laughs> Help me! Help me! Where do I grab? Try and get on the end here. I probably should have checked what I'm actually meant to do before I did this. Where? Help me! <laughs> That was so scary. <laughs> oh, there was a massive, massive branch in front of me. The whole way down, it was sticking out. Where is it? That thing in the middle. Can you see? Yeah, yeah, With yeah. With the big yeah, yeah. sticks pointing out the top. Yeah. It was directly in front of me. I was trying to slow down the whole time so I didn't run into <laughs> it. Well, all right. There will not be a take two of that, yeah. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> okay, so I'm back on our little balcony from jumping in the, um, the river. <laughs> um, just so you know, I... I'm not that big of a scaredy cat, but this is my only fear, like open water, like things in the water, jumping into water that I can't see. Like it's literally my biggest fear in the whole wide world. So that might explain why I was a little bit more scared than normal, but we're here and we're just actually about to pack up. We have to check out in like an hour. Um, I think the plan is to go drop our bags at the next hotel and then from there we're going to go on a big road trip. We're going to go past um, Hellfire Pass and then to Erewhon Falls, to the waterfall. So it's going to be a really exciting vlog. Um, hopefully it started out good for you because that was terrifying for me and I did it for you. So make sure you like and subscribe <laughs> so that my efforts don't go to waste. But we're going to pack up here and then head on out for a drive. We're probably going to spend about three hours on the motorbike today. so. Pray for my behind that I can feel it by the end of this. All right, might sit here for a second. Soak up. Oh, the Thailand heat to get dry. I'll see you shortly. So we're just heading in the boat now, on the way back to the main spot where we parked our bike and everything. Well, let's hope it's still there. <laughs> we haven't seen it for a day or so. Okay, so we just came off the boat that's down there and now we have to climb up this lovely cliff to our bike and we haven't seen it for a few days or overnight so we're hoping it's still there <laughs> and then if it is we're gonna I'm already tired <laughs> we're gonna head back and just drop off our bags at the next hotel um, there's also a massive hill here still there <laughs> cool there's a massive hill up here that I don't even know if the bike will get up, so whew, hopefully we get up the hill. <laughs> it's a big hill. We just sort of got here from riding the bike. Now, pro tip, we drove past it because we followed Google Maps. So if you're coming here, go to the, what is it? The Type in, type in Hellfire Pass Interpretive Centre. Interpretive Centre. Not Hellfire Pass. 
not Hellfire Pass in general, because it'll take you to like the actual part. We had a nose through road. You can't. Ride you can't there. ride through there, and there were signs, and there was like it was literally nothing there. So pro tip for you. Now we're here, and it's also actually the day before Anzac Day, so we see that there's some things probably set up for the morning, ready for everything to go, ready for the service, the dawn service, and everything. But we made it, and let's see what there is and what we can uh, access. So once you arrive at that interpretive center, you're basically put into a little like memorial type um, room that gives you just some facts and some more info about Hellfire Pass. And everything like that it's funded by the Australian government um, it's free so you can come and have a look at that and it just gave us a little bit more of a like graphic sort of visualization as to what actually happened there was you know pictures of the men who had passed and the men who had come home there were some facts on the wall it showed us sort of the location of where this was in relation to you know Burma the rest of Thailand Malaysia and everything like that and it was pretty intense and we saw videos of the Australian men who had actually come back from that and they were talking about their experience um, and it was pretty full on. So now we're actually just about to head down here these stairs and walk f about a kilometer to the place that we've actually just learned about for the last two days um, and what actually happened here and what it took to make this railway. So let's go check it out. Let's go look. So we're at Hellfire Pass now. You can see the railway tracks just popping through um, to show you that it went straight through the mountain. This is cut out by all of those people to keep the railway keep um, to keep the railway going all the way to Burma. Burma? Yeah, through Burma. Through the mountain. So as we're walking through Hellfire Pass, you can like just see. I know it's rock, but you can just see like bits in it where it kind of looks like a like the pickaxes, like that's the part that they hit when they were like carving this out of the actual rock of the mountain. This is insane, look how long it is. And- it Took them a year. It took them a year. Mm. It's crazy. And we're lucky enough to sort of almost be here on our, oh, it's rocky, to almost be here on our own. So as we're walking back through here, you can see bits of like the wood popping through the floor pretty surreal being here but we also saw where they put like their pins the people was it the survivors who came back's pins? survivors who came back who put their like their arm met, like medals or pins and things like that or maybe even just pins from their particular battalion and I don't know whether this is a, a sign or not but we also saw a butterfly a couple of butterflies on the floor and when we're upstairs we we're reading that this one man who was a prisoner of war while building this he said that he used to stay up all night drawing butterflies because you know basically he was saying if he was going to be a prisoner of war anywhere he was kind of glad it was somewhere as beautiful as Thailand which is so sad they have the obelisk back there to remember and the Thai Australian and New Zealand flag up there as well. So that's Anzac Day if you ever hear of Anzac Day it's the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps. New Zealand's a different country to Australia but we're so close they're like our little brothers. Bit of a change in plans we're not going to the Erewhon Falls right now we actually took a little bit longer than we thought at Hellfire Pass we just wanted to take it all in and we um, took it all in for a bit longer than planned so we didn't have time to go to the waterfall today but stick around anyway we have this amazing bit of accommodation <laughs> that we're about to show you <laughs> we will be going to the falls tomorrow so subscribe for that one as well let's go look where we're staying I don't even know yet it's a surprise so I don't know what we're doing for tomorrow breakfast we will serve to your room we will start okay I feel like I'm 40 degrees hot like right now but this is a surprise to me so Michael booked this I had no idea what was going on and she kept saying bubble so that's gonna be exciting stay tuned for that but right now we got this little complimentary room because it's too hot in that right now <laughs> and I'll show you in a minute because I got a little sneak peek when we walk past so stick around to see what it really looks like but we're just in this little air room and we can come back to this whenever we want whenever we night. want yeah. yeah because right now it's like super super hot it'll probably cook in the morning too yeah so we're just gonna lay here for a minute cool down because we've been like riding on the bike all day um yeah so what I was saying before is that we decided to come here straight from the Hellfire Pass I have a sore back and then another two hours drive on the bike today was just not gonna really 
work for me to get to the waterfall and back. Um, so, and this was close to Hellfire Pass. So we decided just to come here. It was also going to be too late. If we went to the waterfall, we wouldn't have got back here till like night time. So here we are. Make sure you like and subscribe because tomorrow we're going to show you the Era 1 Falls. We're going to go there on the way home. So make sure you subscribe for that. But let me relax and I'm going to show you this amazing place we're staying in. So we're here and we're heading down to this mystery place that we're staying tonight that Mark was booked for me. So you get this room that we were staying in just then. We just decompressed. There's aircon in there. It's been really hot the last couple of nights. The aircon in the places we have been staying hasn't been amazing. So we've been super hot. But this place just gives you that complimentary room so you can stay in there if you don't want to stay in these places, wherever we're going now. I'm not sure. You're going to find out when I find out. So let's find out what these cool things are. What? That's what we're staying in? The rooms are up and still. We're in the actual water. Oh, in the water? Yeah. It's on the water. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, they moved more than I thought they did. Oh, this is so cool. Hello. <laughs> so afternoon tea just arrived. So we might have that first and then we'll get back to you. I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night. You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like. You're smiling, but there's something missing in your eyes. Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind. Door stuck on. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> so this is our bubble home for the night. Come here. I just thought we'd give you a quick tour before we enjoy this place for ourselves for the rest of the night and the sun goes down. And hopefully it does go down soon because it is actually really hot inside. We'll show you in a second. So we can't really go in there yet. So hopefully the sun goes down so it can cool down and we can enjoy the place to the fullest. But let me show you a little bit of a tour. We did kind of just get here, so I'm still trying to figure out things myself. But we'll start with the front door. It has, they're all lined with like these. Ow! <laughs> so you can have a little bit of privacy at night time when you close all these and you kind of have the little raft to yourself. So over here we have our little egg bubble hut thing. <laughs> You walk into the main part of the bubble which has a little bed it's not a big bed and i haven't sat on it yet so i don't know if it's hard or soft looks like a double or a queen and there is a aircon little component in there um, but it's working overdrive right now to make the bubble colder than it is because it has heat up obviously during the day with the sun straight on it there's some stairs and it brings you straight onto a little i guess breakfast bar where you can sit have your feet in the water have a drink or two on basically the river and there's a little net down there as well for some Instagram shots. So the one last thing that we have here on our little raft is a jacuzzi. So bubbles come up. Is it hot water? Warm. Warm water, it's which is good. Than the heat. Good, because I was actually wanting it to not be hot so that we can get a little bit refreshed because I am sweating like no tomorrow up here in Kanchanaburi. But it has a cool little plank that I guess you can rest your drinks on or your food on while you have a jacuzzi. <laughs> but this is where we're going to stay tonight. So. How exciting, once in a lifetime, little bubble on the River Kwai. So we just found where to put the lights on and it looks really cool with the fairy lights on the entrance on the around the globe itself and also around the jacuzzi. <laughs> you right there? <laughs> and also around the like jacuzzi spa hot tub. Um, but we're just enjoying a few drinks. So I might leave you here, I think, but thank you for coming along with me today. Again, like and subscribe. We're gonna go to the waterfall tomorrow. So I definitely want you to see that and I'll see you in the next one. So we were having such a good night until it came time to go to bed. To be honest, I'm pretty disappointed. I just feel like I didn't get like the experience that I've paid for. This extra room they've given us is like we're in it, but this isn't the room that we paid to be in and I'm just feeling really disappointed. This isn't a collaboration. We've paid for this. Well, Michael paid for this for us as a surprise to me and he paid a lot of money. The bubble, you cannot stay in that. It's so hot. We were in there sweating. We messaged them online and they basically said, oh, sorry about that. So we're in this free hotel room, but it's a $20 a night hotel room. We definitely did not pay $20. We paid a lot more money for this. And this is the only room we can use. I just, I just feel like if you pay for a luxury experience, you're meant to get a luxury experience. And this is not a luxury experience. It's disappointing, but... 
I'll update you in the morning. Make sure you like and subscribe. It'll be in the next video because this one's finished now. I thought this would be a better ending. So I'll see you in the next one.